I know you guys are super excited every time something new comes to Warner Robins and we were able to see that when Quick Trip finally opened and you guys actually caused the gas war between Quick Trip and Bucky's and on top of that you guys did cause a little traffic jam in town. But what does 2022 have in store for us here in Warner Robins? What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Misha Thompson, your favorite Warner Robins real estate agent with The Real Broker. And today we're gonna look into what is coming to Warner Robins and the surrounding area in 2022. Are there any new restaurants opening up? Are there any new developments? And are there any law changes in 2022 for the state of Georgia that could impact us here in Warner Robins. So let's go. When it comes to new developments and especially housing developments in the Warner Robins area, we will see subdivisions that were started in 2017, 18, and 19 being developed even further. For example, the Woodlands in Kathleen is not done by far. They're still building houses in 2022 and probably throughout 2023. One of those subdivisions for sure is being developed by D.R. Horton right off of Robert Price and Smith Parkway below the Hilltop Elementary School, Taylor Woods. The developer doesn't have a price range out yet or what the houses are going to look like, but when I throw through the subdivision, I think that we will see three bedroom, two bathroom houses on 0.2 acre lots probably. Another housing development that probably will excite all students of the Central Georgia Tech College as well as the Trinity School of Medicine is that they will get actually on-campus housing. 265 loft-like apartments will be built on campus. Central Georgia Technical College expanding with its own student housing, 265 room student housing complex. And that means that the Central Georgia Tech College is only the third technical college in the state of Georgia that actually has on-campus housing. This will be developed in 2022 and I bet all the students can't wait for that to be done and live on campus to make their life a little easier. We're getting a Fresco Italiano. The family owned business out of Tifton will open their second location in Warner Robins on 1208 Russell Parkway. They will transform the old time country buffet into a casual fine dining Italian restaurant. We are also getting a walk-ons. This is a Cajun restaurant that has ties to the quarterback legend Drew Brees and will be opened in the Rigby's Entertainment Center this summer. Of course, we will get some more fast food restaurants in Warner Robins as well. In early spring, we will get a Jack's on South Houston Lake Road. Then we will have another Chick-fil-A opening on Russell Parkway. We are in the South, so there is never enough Chick-fil-A out here. And we will have a McAllister's opening on 96, right next to Kroger's. Also in Perry, Orleans on Carroll is supposed to finally open in the heart of Perry. If that is something you are been looking forward to, 2022 is probably the year when they are finally opening and you can go and check out their great food. We're also gonna have a couple of new laws in Georgia that are coming in 2022 and will affect us here in Warner Robins as well. We got the House Bill 458 in Georgia, which requires doctors, the medical board, as well as medical students to learn more about boundaries and sexual assault. New laws for the state of Georgia, some of them include tax incentives, sexual assault training for medical providers. Different kind of medical providers will have different training on that, but this is a law that is coming in 2022. Another law that will be in effect in 2022 and will affect all of us here in Warner Robins is that the state decided to increase the minimum income before you pay state tax, which means for a lot of people that is more money in their pocket. They also increased the standard tax deduction for singles from $4,600 to $5,100 and for married filing jointly from $6,100 to $7,000. And last but not least is House Bill 32 that incentivizes our teachers who are teaching in underperforming schools or in rural areas. Those teachers will get $3,000 tax credit 
if they are legible to it, which is great that we are finally doing something for the teachers because they are teaching our kids, taking care of them day in and day out, and they need to be taken care of better people. Teachers deserve better. This was my video about the things that we are getting here in Warner Robins in 2022. I'm sure over the year we will get some more stuff that is not published yet, but if that is the case, I probably will make another video about those things. If you know anything that is coming to the Warner Robins area or changing, put that in the comments below. If you like the video, destroy that like button and hit that subscription button, turn that notification bell on so you will stay up to date with all the videos I'll upload and I'll see you in the next one.